At 6.05, the Fox 23 severe weather team is finding extensive damage in Midtown. Fox 23, Spencer Humphrey continues our live severe weather team coverage near 15th and Yale. Spencer, what are you seeing? We're seeing some, quite frankly, scary damage. If you were someone in this when the storm was going through, look at what we found here. This is a minivan out in the middle of Yale, one of the busiest roads in Tulsa, right, that got a power line. It landed on top of it right over the driver's side, uh, the driver's seat. Now, somebody who witnessed this tells us it's their understanding the driver got out of this okay. I'm going to try to check with the fire department, make sure that's true, because gosh, looking at that, can you imagine being in that minivan when that power line comes down on you when these just uh, you know torrential downpours and, and winds are blowing I, I cannot imagine I really feel for the people in that car but look at all this on Yale I mean this is all the way up Yale between 15th and 11th Street just totally all of the lines knocked down one by one by one and then you can look down here we're in the parking lot of a Walgreens here they've got barricades to try to keep you from going out when there's a, a street but this parking lot doesn't have a barricade to keep you from going out we've been seeing people trying to go out on Yale from this parking lot here, but look, there's lines down right there. We've seen people drive over it, but here's the problem. You get over to the intersection at uh, at 15th there, and uh, this is what you come up to. It's totally blocked off by barricades, but uh, there are uh, there's a giant power pole that snapped the top off. That fell down. It's dangling now from other power lines below it, uh, but for some reason, we've seen people here this morning still driving over down power lines and under other ones sagging over the top of their cars and then trying to go past these barricades here at this intersection here. Uh, just one thing to know, there's a lot of places that the city has tried to block off that either the barricades or caution tape have blown over or blown away. If you see caution tape that's just laying on the ground, if you see a barricade that's maybe not straight blocking a road, maybe it's sideways, maybe it's blown over like some of these here, don't go past them. Assume that those are supposed to be there for a reason and they've just been knocked over. Don't assume that that means you can go past it. We've seen quite a few people. I've been kind of having to direct traffic out here on Yale this morning to try to turn people back around because, I mean, it really is a mess out here. I think this neighborhood is one of the hardest hit in town. Just over down the way is Expo Square. They were holding a, a big horse show, a national horse show event there. They had a lot of damage to the roofs of the barns there. They say, luckily, though, everyone there was okay. They do have power back, it looks like, this morning, so good news for them. Reporting live, covering news that matters, Spencer Humphrey, Fox 23 News.